guys, Future Nobody here, and I just wanted to uh, give you a quick update video on a better way to put this back together. Now, this Oracle is no longer mine. I did a little bit of horse trading, but uh, the gentleman who owns it uh, took it apart, uh, did some stippling to the grip, and put it back together, and then was having some issues with hammer follow. So he asked me to take a look at it and uh, get it back to functionality. Now, during that process, I did figure out a lot better of a way to get this back together without having to get grips and monkeying around with 10,000 things to help assist. And honestly, I'm a little chagrined. I think I mentioned it in the video that I'm pretty sure there's going to be an easier way to do it. And I'm sure someone's going to find some cool gee whiz way of doing it. And I'll be like, man, why didn't I figure that out? Yes, I overthought it and there is an easier way to do it. So I'll show that to you right now. All right, so if you've been taking it apart and you've reached this step right here to where you've already removed the magwell and the back strap and your thumb safety, you're gonna go ahead and take the tension off of your hammer and then you're gonna go ahead and knock the hammer pin out and makes it a lot easier if you hold it in place to take a little bit of pressure off and you just remove that right on out. Then you can go ahead and remove your grip and your sear and your disco and all that kind of fun stuff. Now, if you're putting it back together, what you're gonna do is you're going to get to this point here where you've already have your grip attached. You have made sure that your disconnector is sitting properly on your uh, trigger bow uh, because it is easy to get that disconnector to where it is binding up on the trigger bow. So the easiest way that I have found to do this is orient the pistol away from me, take your hammer and strut and drop it into the back of the pistol, guiding your hammer strut into the mainspring housing, orientate the hammer so that way it is up against the frame. And now if I can do this while staying out of the camera shot, what you're gonna do is put a thumb or a finger up against the bottom of the hammer so that way you can push on it to start lining up the hole and it drops right in. Wow, <laughs> that's a heck of a lot easier. So hopefully that was helpful. You know, from here on out, you can go ahead and put it together just like in the regular video. So thanks for watching. Have a good